Here is a textbook classical normal bladder in the lower half of the field. Please note, like uh, virtually the entire lower urinary tract, the mucosa consists of transitional epithelium. Transitional epithelium is multi-layered, it's stratified, and generally the configuration of the cells change uh, as the bladder goes from relaxed to stretched. In the stretched form, uh, the mucosa is uh, flatter. In the relaxed form, it's more cuboidal or columnar. That's why they call it transitional. It changes. Notice we have a lot of nice loose connective tissue under the epithelium. Also notice that their uh, majority, perhaps 90 something percent of the weight of the bladder, of the tissue of the bladder is smooth muscle going in whatever direction it has to go into to make that detrusor muscle uh, contract nicely to allow for micturition. Also, please note, as we look at these nice little smooth muscle bundles, perhaps even closer if you wish, classical smooth muscle, cigar-shaped nuclei, if you cut them longitudinally, uh, nice round nuclei if you cut them uh, on cross-section. Notice there is a, a little bit of connective tissue beyond the smooth muscle, and then basically you're dealing with perivesicular fat. But the main thing I want you to notice in all areas is that this transitional epithelium has maybe, what, four, five, six layers. Generally speaking, the layers get a little bit more as you go from the minor calyx to the urethra. But this is classical. Uh, they all are rather uniform in size. They're not in a, uh, particularly thick in terms of number of layers. They don't have bizarre pleomorphism or hyperchromasia. However, on the top, we see something a little bit different. We see an area here, which I could probably convince you is fairly normal except for the fact that underlying the epithelium we see a lot of inflammation, don't we? But most of the mucosa here, uh, several things are wrong. First of all, it's thicker than it should be. Secondly, the cells are darker and more variable than they should be. Uh, in addition, there appear to be some bizarre looking nuclei. And of course, in addition to that, you could see once again a lot of chronic inflammation underneath this epithelium, and perhaps occasionally uh, entering the epithelium, perhaps here and here and here. These are probably inflammatory cells here and here. Another thing that you should notice is that there is virtually not much of a maturation like we see down here. In the a normal transitional, you have, like the squamous, a maturation from the base to the surface getting a little bit less columnar and more cuboidal. But in this uh, epithelium here, besides the fact that they all have occasionally dark, big cells, there basically isn't much of a maturation. They all look pretty nasty, no matter what part of the epithelium you're in. Um, this is transitional cell carcinoma in situ. And the reason that you know it's in situ is that if you follow this basement membrane around the entire bladder, if we had the time, you will see that none of it infiltrates. However, if you spend the time to look at this slide and see an area that infiltrates, I will be very happy to modify my opinion. Thank you very much.